So I'm researching uh, adaptive serious games that use cognitive load or working memory combined with performance to try and adapt serious games and simulation training to get best possible outcomes for you know, learners and the educational institutions, as well as providing some really rich metrics to help people into the future. Well, one of the things is serious games and simulation training are a huge industry and it's growing from schools right through to high-end military training. So they're becoming a big industry. And at the moment, it's a bit of a one-size-fits-all approach, right? This simulation, everybody does it, and whether you like that or don't like that, or if it suits you or doesn't suit you, bad luck, that's what you've got. So what we're looking at is adapting those games in real time so that the, the people who are learning or participating um, if they're struggling a bit, the game will pick it up and help them achieve success. Furthermore, um, we want to know uh, whether someone's really succeeding or mastering the content. And this is where some of the cognitive load aspects come in. So, for example, you might get 80% and, but you're cruising and you only used 50% of your cognitive load. In this way, we'd know that and we could adjust the game to make it more challenging to keep you interested and motivated. The current game or experiment that I'm running is built around a Unity game engine. And what we wanted to know was what happens to people's brains essentially when they're doing complex tasks. So a lot of research tends to be very isolated or focuses in on just one or two things. So what we want to do is see what happens in a much broader context. So playing a whole game with different tasks and different environments and different challenges what happens across that whole gamut of interactions. So I guess what I'm trying to do is be able to produce, beyond just the adaptive game element, I'm actually also looking at what are the pedagogical or educational basis combined with the psychology to really make effective serious games. Even if you don't do a cognitive adaptive one, just understanding how better to make them and design them is an important piece for me as well.